Hello, everyone. I'm glad you're here today. Let's get right to it. I'm very excited to bring you these two dreams, mainly because I believe there's hope uh, in the second dream. I'm going to bring you a word also that I received from God that I think relates to these two dreams I'm going to bring you. Now, word of caution, these dreams are violent in nature, but they are very compelling in meaning. So hang with me, uh, be warned, and, and your level of and definition of violence may not be mine. So if they're not that bad to you, well, good. But I'm just telling you that ahead of time. I want to begin with a prayer and reminding everyone that dreams do not rise above what's written in the Word of God from the Holy Spirit, uh, the Bible. So let us always elevate the Bible above all dreams and visions and look to the scriptures for guidance on interpretation. All right, let's pray. Father, you are a good father, and we are so blessed to have you in the way you talk to us and communicate with us. That is so beautiful. We pray that we'll pay attention and be alert to the warnings you're giving us and let us get the warnings out to the other believers And may the people who do not believe in you yet be moved and come to you, cry out to your son for salvation, for it is him that we have our hope and love and faith. In your holy name, amen. All right, the first dream. I actually, if I were at all organized, would know this, uh, but I don't know if I've given you this dream before or not. I'm looking at it. Regardless, I know I haven't given you the second dream. This first dream my dad had on September 30th, 2021. This dream, I believe, has to do with the coming outpouring of the Holy Spirit upon God's people. So let me just begin. My dad was in a room that was white had tall ceilings, no doors, and no windows. There were two other men that were with him. Suddenly, as they faced the wall opposite them, at the other end of the room, someone was on the other side of that wall, and they were shooting into the white room, one shot at a time, starting in the far right-hand corner, them facing, so starting in the right-hand corner, it was just one shot, second shot, like a row of shots, one at a time. So bullet holes, boom, 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 going across next to the ceiling into the wall. Then there was another row. He started another row, whoever was shooting on the other side of the wall, one by one. And and at first, my dad and these two men just kind of watched it and were not at all threatened. They did not feel a threat whatsoever at first. But when the shots got to the third row, that's when they felt threatened and hunkered down onto the ground flat. And it was just boom, boom, boom. They could not get away. There were no windows or doors. So on the third row, they hunkered down. And when the shots started on the fourth row, they were face down flat on the floor. And they just knew if they stood up, they'd be killed. There was no way out of this. Then my dad looked up. And in the lower left-hand corner of the wall that was being shot in, there was the words, the word written, LIFE, L-I-F-E, all capitals in big red letters, the word LIFE. The scene changed, and my dad is outside The two men are tied up as if they're going to be executed against a wall. My dad is kind of back in the woods behind a bush. uh, And there's an executioner standing about to shoot the two men that my dad were with. Their hands were tied. 
and my dad is behind the executioner. The executioner does not know that my dad is there. Now he has, he's a dark stoic figure. He has a big wide brim hat, hat on and he has a gun. So my dad knew he had to help those two men, but he was afraid to sneak up on him because he didn't have a weapon. But then he looked down and suddenly he had a pistol in his hand. And he thought, if I go up to him, I can hit him with the butt of this pistol and knock this guy out. But then he was choked with fear and thought, what if I don't knock him out? What if my blow is not hard enough to knock this man out? And then suddenly he looked down and the pistol had changed into a shotgun. And shotgun's going to do damage. So he felt better about having a shotgun. And he was so nervous to shoot him. But he went up behind him, put the gun to the back of the executioner's hat. The executioner didn't even move. And my dad had a very vivid picture of himself pulling the trigger, and this man's head just blew off. But my dad felt no remorse. The two men came up to him, and my dad untied him, and they put their arms around him, and they said, you had no choice. And when my dad woke up, he uh, he felt like that was tough. That he woke up and he had the feeling that was really hard to do, but it was the right thing to do. And then he had a sense of something coming. Something was coming that resembled that situation. I can't put his finger on it. And he knew in the dream, he knew in the dream that he had to look at that word life to be able to live. That was the end of that dream and that experience. So that's very, very fascinating. The next, uh, let me see here. Let me make sure I get all these papers together. The next dream, okay, that one was on September 30th, 2021. Now then, interesting thing. Not but a few days after, my daughter dreamt, and I have put, I know I've posted this dream. She dreamt on October 10th, 2021. So just 10 days, 11 days after my dad had that dream, my daughter dreamt of seeing Chinese battleships in the sky near our house. They, the sky was full of Chinese warships flying. And that was kind of a blip of a dream, but I think it's relevant. Then, I, and I, I swear, y'all, I have never put these dreams together like this or these words. Um, it's new to me. So if I'm not doing it correctly, I pray that God will forgive me and extend his grace to me. I'm doing the best I can. But um, on October 14th, so the dates are September 30th, October 10th, October 14th, 2021. On October 14th, 2021, I had this dream. And this dream has haunted me, for lack of a better term. It has, it has stayed with me. And in a weird way, at the end of it, I think it'll give us all hope. But it will also indicate what's coming for believers if not already here. I dreamt on October 14th, 2021, that we were in our house. It wasn't really our house, but we were, as a family, in, in a house. And there was a UPS man that was delivering something, and he was outside the house. And he was evil trying to get in. And somehow he had threatened my son, who is a 17, 16, 15 at that time. But uh, in the dream, he was a little boy. The UPS man had threatened my son to keep quiet about him being in the house. So suddenly the UPS man had gotten in the house 
and he had threatened my son to be quiet. And I had thought, uh, I knew he had gotten in through an open window. And he was inside the house, and I had thought all the windows and doors were locked, but I was wrong. Then the UPS's wife was with him, and she had grabbed me by the hair. I was, the scene had kind of changed from just the UPS man being in the house and being an evil presence. To, the scene changed, and we, my husband and I were in a room on our knees. The UPS man's wife had my hair and had my head pulled back, and she had a box saw at my throat. It was red. The saw was red, and out of the corner of my eye, I could see my husband, and the UPS man had a gun to his head. So that was the scene, my husband and I on our knees fixing to get killed. Every time that woman put the saw up against my throat, it turned to like rubber. It was real soft. And I kept shouting over and over again, in the name of Jesus, you have no power over us. In the name of Jesus, you have no power over us. I kept shouting that over and over. And I swear she was really getting mad. But she kept putting that saw up to my throat to kill me. And every time it turned soft and just flopped around. And every time that man pulled the trigger at my husband's head, the gun jammed. It did not discharge. Every time. And the dream ended. I, I think that's indicative of how much power, regardless of what's coming in the future, what's happened in the past, people who have the Holy Spirit of God within them have power over the evils in this world through Christ alone. Because we're walking around with God in us, we have to remember we walk on holy ground every step we take. And because of that, the powers of Satan hold nothing on us. And we need to remember that. So regardless of what's coming, persecution, tribulation, rapture, I really don't know the timelines of everything. But I do know our Lord lives and lives in us, and we have power in the name of, of his son, Jesus. Okay, in that mode, in that thought, I want to bring you a word, and I have, brought, I have recorded this before, but not in connection to the dreams. So I think this word, which was given to me on October 27th, 2021, relates to these two dreams that I had that God had given us, you know, a, a few weeks earlier. I think all of this goes together and is full of hope for those who believe. And we don't need to be surprised about what we're going to see. We're being, we have been warned in scripture and we have been warned, we are being warned now. A lot of people are having dreams. Please post your dreams beneath in the comments below. If I feel something in the spirit that it's something that needs to be recorded and brought out, I don't mind doing that for you. If you want me to, then tell me, please speak this dream, because not everybody has the time nor the inclination to get on YouTube and visit like I am. I don't mind. I have some time now. So let me do that for you. But we always need to go to the Father and test what we hear and let the Spirit lead us. All right, this was October 27th, 2021, at 4.55 a.m. in the morning. This is what I sense the Lord telling me. The ways of this generation, child, will surely lead to destruction. Many, too many are following the ways of darkness that lead to pits of brutality and death. There is a day coming soon in which time will be no more. In that day, 
The lost will no longer see any light at all. Their eyes will be hooded by the hate of the enemy. Darkness will consume their minds, hearts, bodies, and souls, never seeing me. Like seared wounds that smolder and smell of burning flesh, these souls will dwell in the hatred of the enemy. Do not be surprised by the passion of hatred that is going to come against you. You are light. But remember, the clenches of the enemy upon these souls is strong, never stronger than me or me in you, but in the foolish nature of man, the weakness of his countenance. The enemy will crush out the thought of me. This is the battlefield in which you are fighting. The enemy has no power over you, child. He is frightened of you. So stand firm in me, child, and you will be victorious. Be ready for these winds of destruction to blow all around you. They are beginning to gather the dust of the earth so that you can see clearer the direction from whence they come. Hold fast to the power of my love. These winds of hate will not touch you as for you, as you remain firmly in me. Do not waver. Do not fear. Do not falter. Remain rooted deeply in me. I will never, never leave you, child. You are mine Set warmly and safely in the shelter of my wings as the storm rages all around you. I tell you this to warn you, child, for the things that are to come are not even conceived thoughts in your mind. You do not and cannot imagine the evil that is about to come forth on this earth. But there is a remnant of faithful that will not be touched by this evil. They will see it swirling about them, but it will pass over them. Speak this to those who will listen. Remain in me. Hold fast to my word. Never forsake me, and you will be safe beneath my wings of love for you. Do not fear. I am with you always unto the end. I hang on to that. Because when I see things that are confusing to me, the situation in Ukraine, the situation in Taiwan, the situation in Washington, D.C., I hang on to stay rooted in God. He knows what's going on. And I'm safe in the shelter of his love. If you don't know about Jesus, I implore you to please open the Bible, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Acts. Those are things you can listen to on the Bible app, or you can have a real book and read it if you're bent that away. But it will show you what Jesus has done for us, and when we follow him, we have conquered death just like he has, and we have eternal life in heaven. There's a day he's coming back to get his believers, to get his children. And at that moment, you will not have any more chances to turn away from denying him as Christ and God. At that moment, it is the end. No more chances. But in his mercy, that moment is not right now. And if you're listening to this, cry out to Jesus to save you. And then learn what he taught you and follow him in love, always rooted in love through faith that he is God. That's all I have today. I hope it encourages you and also makes you think about soberly what is coming, what might be coming, and how to respond to it. I'm keeping all of you in my prayers. Please comment below if these dreams like What are you getting from them? I'm no expert. If you have a concept of what something means or what God is trying to tell us through these dreams, let us know. 
I'm, I'm interested. I'm curious. And we'll take it to the Father in prayer. And if you have a dream, post it. Love to hear what, what he's telling you. All right. Stay close to Jesus, everyone. This is Gina Lima Charlie. I'm out.